Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Crystal Rivals Edition. Last time, we um, did some training, got our team up to level 21, got a, our final team member, and we had a rival battle of our own, and it was pretty fun. This time, it is about time we took on the gym. This is a ghost gym, and because it is ghost gym, that means we can't see the floor, and since there's only one, well, there's two ghosts in this game, but they only have one in this gym, and it's always going to be the Ghastly family. Well, there's going to be Haunters and stuff too, but it's the Ghastly family. And the way we're going to beat the Ghastly family is with Dr. Fang, because Dr. Fang happens to have Bite, which is super effective and can get the flinch. And if uh, you guys watched the last rival battle, you need to understand, the flinch is very likely. So, first things first, he set a curse on us, but curse won't happen until I use an attack. But now that I know I'm cursed, I'm not going to stay in. That just seems like a dumb idea. So, we're going to switch out. I wish Mudo had Bite right now. Uh, we can get that later, though. I guess Killian. Yeah, Killian has Bite, so we're gonna send in the Killian. Killian will win, no problem. Because Killian is even faster than Dr. Fang, and the Bite is super powerful, so... Well, not really. But the Bite is strong enough to maybe... Well, I'm going for a flinch. Let's be honest, I'm going for a flinch. They both do the exact same damage. Eh, but Killian gets the flinch, so that's funny. Both my Ekans and my Meowth have the same special attack, I have to assume, since both of their bites did the same damage at the same level. So that's kind of funny. Now that I know they both have the same special attack and their special attacks aren't even that great, uh, luckily Ghastlies have awful defense, so that makes it possible for us to defeat them. So a few more bites and we'll get this done. Okay, that one had less special defense than the one before it, so we were able to do that. Good, and got some more experience. Is this going to be another- hey, it's another Ghastly. You know what? I am actually tired of Ghastly because we have three of them in the series so far. God knows if we're going to have more. Uh, so Rival Rick, Rival Vidal, and Rival Mario, screw you guys. Why do you all have to use Ghastly? I, I know how broken it gets, but please, I hate seeing them. It's like Typhlosions. We have three of those, and I hate everyone using them. Rival Vidal again, but it's your partner, so I'll give you a break. Rival Steven, you don't get a break. And Rival Sit Lolly, you don't get a break either. How dare you guys reuse those Pokemon. But what am I going to say? We're going to have plenty of doubles this series. we got 10 people playing the game. We're bound to have doubles. That's 60 Pokemon. Oh, no, I can't escape. Oh, whatever will Killian do other than just win the battle? Because who wants to escape? All right, Killian almost got a level. That's good. Ping has been defeated. Ah, well done. Yes, thank you, Ping. Uh, I believe you can fall. Yes. I was going to say, I believe you can fall. So let's go this way. Oh, no, that didn't work. All right, let's go. Oh, no, I was, I was trying to move one up, but it didn't work out. So let's move up. Go this way. Okay, so it's three. One, two, one, 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 one. Okay. Okay, I can see it. Stunt by our invisible floor. Defeat me if you want a hint. I would love a hint. I would love the ability to see the invisible floor. That would be so nice of you. What the hell? What kind of sprite is that? She looks like a dying old woman. Her name is Grace. Grace, are you okay? You look like you need help. Okay, level 20 Haunter. That will probably outspeed Dr. Fang. I'm just hoping there's no sleep involved. That's the one thing. Okay, he, I can't switch anymore. So if he puts me to sleep, that's GG. I'm asleep. I can't wake myself up. Alright, so first things first. The bite doesn't even do half. That's the strength of evolution, my friends. Once you evolve and once you're a good level, you could start taking hits normally you wouldn't be able to take. Ekans here also needs to evolve. It's such a baby. It's been a baby for a long time. Though I should give my Ekans credit, in the rival battle it did amazing work. So great job in that fight, Dr. Fang. But outside of the rival battle, let's see just how good you are. Alright, it's about to. she's about to send in Haunter. Uh, I'm gonna stay in, surprisingly. Uh, yes, I know I'm cursed, so I'm actually not gonna stay in forever. I'm just staying in to bait him into using Mean Look again. And while he does that, I'm gonna send in Killian. And Killian will be the one to deal with this. So, Killian mixed with you. Okay, he went for Spite. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, we're gonna use Bite. I mean, that'll work. If he if he spites down my Bites, then I can't use Bite anymore. And if I can't use Bite anymore, then I'll lose. Wow, you really do like to flinch, huh, Killian? And you're fast. I just realized Killian's faster than Haunter. So, Killian is way faster than Ekans, which makes sense. It's a Meowth. It's one good stat is supposed to be speed. Which, that makes me happy. It makes me happy to see my Meowth is so fast. Good job, Meowth. The 49 speed, that explains it all. Medium Grace with your creepy sprite that looks like a dying old woman. Goodbye. Alright, so I'm gonna- wait, can I have a hint? Fine, I shall tell you the secret of the invisible floor. The path is right before our eye. Oh, I get you, so I have to go like this. The path is before their eyes means you just have to follow their eyes. 
I spent the spring with my Pokemon, then summer, fall, and winter, then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. That's sweet. I like, I like the idea that Pokemon and people live together for a long time, and it's just nice. It's just nice, you know? Alright, this guy only has one Pokemon, so I'm expecting a pretty tough Haunter. Um, level 22, that is a tough looking Haunter. Ekans here is gonna do his best. Come on, Dr. Fang, administer the poison. Oh, this one knows Night Fang. Yeah, Nightshade. Night Fang would be a cool move. Nightshade, holy crap, that's doing 22 damage. Which means he's gonna kill me in two hits. So if he uses Mean Look, I can get stuck. Oh god, I'm stuck. <laughs> so everything's going wrong. Because I don't think I can kill him in three bites. Or it'll be close. Oh my god, I killed him in two. Critical hit, Dr. Fang. Heck yeah. And Dr. Fang has hit level 22, which is just great. Honestly, that's just great. 37 speed actually isn't bad. I'm starting to realize why you outsped that Growlithe last episode. Yeah, we all experience win and loss. And Dr. Fang is evolving. Yes! We're finally getting our first fully evolved Pokemon. I know it's actually pretty early in the game, but level 22 is rough to get to. Oh, look, he's that little tongue. He's that little tongue and the little wiggle. Yay, Dr. Fang. I'm so happy. I couldn't be more happy for you. Good job. So we now we have an Arbok, our Cobra, our Dr. Fang. And I want to see those stats. Let me see him. 65 HP is good. Attack 49, special attack 38, but I'm going to have to use it. Speed 48, that's surprisingly high. Okay. So we have a fast Dr. Fang. That's what we have. Uh, but Dr. Fang, you've, you've, you've used yourself a lot. Let's, uh, let's let Steven get some levels. I feel like Steven could really use some. Or you know what? Even better. Let's send out Mudo first. I know Mudo has no way of fighting these Pokemon. But, or does he? Did I give him Mud Slap? I might have given him Mud Slap. Okay, so maybe he has a way of fighting. So, based on that lady's tip, I can get through here pretty easily. I shall win. Okay, so this lady is just really, really motivated. She's, uh, confident. I like that. She's dying, so I guess you might as well be calm In your last moments, you might as well be confident. But let's see if my Eevee here, my Mudo, can outspeed a Ghastly. I don't think it can, but if it can, we're going for Mud Slap. Oh, it can! Alright, let's try to blind this baby. I know this won't do a lot of damage. That did more than I thought. I was, I was gonna say, I know this won't do a lot of damage, but hell, I'll do it. So now that I know it's going to die to the next, uh, even if we have to take one hit of Curse, which it sucks, but wow! Oh, we have a Speed Tie, because we, we just want the same speed right there. Oh, man. So this cur- I got mean looked, but it doesn't matter now that he's dead, the mean look loses effect. And- Oh, since I killed it, the curse didn't activate. Um, Haunter's a little bit stronger. I'm gonna try and blind it once. So she has Ghastly and Haunter. This lady's a little bit tougher. I'm gonna have to take one turn of curse damage, which sucks. Oh! I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Oh, that was a crit! Oh, Jesus. We have lost our Mudo. Mudo is going to die. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, don't fail. I was going to say, oh, wait. It has no way of attacking us, so that means we actually have an advantage against this guy. Or this lady, sorry. Oh, my God. We can only take two more of those. Jesus. Jesus, help me. You can't curse us, so that means we're just going to have to try and mud slap you to death. One more mud slap should do it. Which is good, because one more curse should do us in. Oh, my God. I'm so scared. I know there's ghosts, but I'm still scared. Alright, how much? Okay. So Mudo was able to take out two Haunters. We gotta give Mudo some credit. That's impressive. For uh, Eevee with Mud Slap. Oh, she actually had a Ghastly left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in. But I have to switch because I know Mudo will get Mean Looked again. And that would, that would kill it. So we're going to switch into who needs levels and can fight ghosts. Steven. Steven. So, I'm gonna assume the mean look. Steven will get mean looked, and then Steven will probably get hit with a curse or a lick. Or an, even a nightshade is possible. Okay, so a curse already. That's bad. So, Steven, you're probably gonna have to take no damage because Magnitude's super strong. So, Magnitude, use your super strength. So, yeah, six damage. Or 60, which equals a ton of damage. Nice job, Steven. Nice job indeed. Get everybody some experience. Medium Martha has died. I, I lost. All right, now that we've done that, let's fall into the darkness and go back and heal because we're about to go fight the gym leader, everybody. And you know the gym leader is going to screw us up if we're not full health. Luckily, we do happen to have two normal types in our team on our team, so we should have some advantage against this gym leader. But never count out a gym leader. They will always have something up their sleeve. Now, I don't think we'll ever fight someone as strong as Whitney ever again, but that doesn't mean this gym leader can't sneak up on us. 
We've been defeated by one gym leader in the past. It was the water type gym leader of Pokemon Platinum and his float soul. I think his name was Crasher Wake. That guy beat us in the main series. I don't want to lose to the ghost gym. Oh, whoops. Sorry guys, I'm using GameCube remote. It can do that sometimes. Whoop, whoop. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so there, I gotta... Oh, follow the eyesight. I forgot about that. So I even have to follow the gym leader's eyes. Okay, so GameCube remote, you wanna be nicer to me? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So sometimes it works. Sometimes the GameCube remote moves too. So there we go. And we made it. This is Morty. We met him in the burn tower earlier. But now we are fighting him outside. So Mudo's in front. I think that's fine. Let's have Mudo stay in front. Good of you to come here. Here in Icritique, Pokemon have been re revered. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I can see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me reach that level. So, Morty here actually has some goals outside of being a gym leader. He wants to see the rainbow Pokemon, and the only way he thinks he can do that is through power. Becoming a gym leader is a good way to show off your power. But, if you have to give up gym badges because you were weaker than the challenger, then that shows that you were weak. So let's see just how strong you, you really are. Now, he's going to start with a curse, which is de deadly. Because the gym leader might have healing items, and if he does, then we're in big trouble. Alright, so we got good damage on him. We're gonna have to take one turn of curse, but next turn we'll kill him unless he uses an item. Uh, he did not. Ooh, Spite! That's actually rough. We got lost five Mud Slaps by Spite. Which means we might actually be out of Mud Slaps soon or now. So, Mudo hit level 22, which is really good. I'm glad to see that. Good little stat boost there for Mudo. And Haunter. So, Haunter, I'm not gonna make, uh... Mudo fight you. I'm going to let the Killian fight you. Maybe not Killian. Uh, maybe Steven. Steven will fight him. Steven is not the right choice either. Fishness? Yeah, you know what? Let's send in the fish. Why not? We haven't used her. We haven't used her yet. Let's send in the fishness to handle the business. Here we go. So we don't. We're not able to use our physical attacks, which sucks. But Surf should do good damage. Oh, great! I forgot why this gym is so popular. It's known for having people that use hypnosis all the time, and usually the AI always hits it, so... That was a crit. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way that's not a crit. So the fact that he missed that first hypnosis is pretty lucky. He missed both? Oh my gosh. Well, okay, you know what? That's not even his Pokemon that's dangerous. The Haunter is just normal. He's got like two of these things. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't be confident just because this one hit missed. If anything, I should wait till the next one. If the next one misses... Oh god, it's Gengar! Okay, so he wants to fight for real now. Uh, I'm actually gonna try... I know Mudo's shaking its head like, don't send me in. I'm gonna try using Mudo, because if we have any Mud Slaps left, I'm gonna try and use it on the Gengar level 25. Oh my god. Level 25 is a little bit above my pay grade. Okay, we have a few Mud Slaps left. It missed the Hypnosis, which is super lucky. We're gonna try and lower his accuracy even more so that if he keeps trying this hypnosis strat, he will keep missing. Okay, very good. Let's use all three. Let's try to get all three mudslaps on him because you can see this Gengar is actually kind of tanky. It's weird how tanky it is. Okay, it hit that hypnosis despite the fact that it's 55 accuracy and it has two speed or two accuracy drops, which sucks, but that's what's gonna happen. He might have Dream Eater, so I'm gonna switch while I have the chance. And I guess I'll send in Steven. Steven, get in there. Too bad the AI can't play with Sleep Claws, so he's probably gonna... Yeah, does he have Dream Eater? He does! Oh god. If he hits a Hypnosis on Geodude, this could be bad. Okay, he couldn't hit it. Thank god I did all those Mud Slaps. It was worth it. Magnitude 4! I've never seen us get a, such a weak Magnitude before. Oh my god, this Gengar's so tanky. That was super effective. Oh, and he hit that Hypnosis! Oh my gosh, he's gonna be able to freaking Dream Eater again. I have to switch. I have to. There's no choice. If I don't switch, I'm, I'm dead. Alright, let's send in our fastest Pokemon, the Killian. If Killian can outspeed Gengar, that would be a dream. But Gengar's speed size is 110, so I shouldn't be dreaming that big. Yeah, I can't dream that big. But luckily, he missed. So Killian, just go for Bite, try to break it down. Oh my god, how tanky is this Gengar? Okay, he missed Hypnosis again. He shouldn't be hitting any of these, by the way. He, hypnosis is 55 accurate with two accuracy drops. He should never hit this move. The fact that he's hit it twice is a freaking... is a miracle. 
Okay, did we kill it? Did we kill this monster? The monster is dead, everybody. Everyone can come out of their homes. Be safe. You can go back on the streets. The Gengar is dead. Thank God. Haunter. Okay, so he did save a Haunter. He was sent in the Gengar early. He was like, no, I'm not losing this battle. And you know what? He almost made a... Yeah, he almost did win the battle using that freaking... Using that freaking Pokemon. Luckily, we still have more po We still have all six of our Pokemon pretty healthy, but two are asleep, so this Haunter can take advantage of that. Dr. Fang, you look so cool! Oh my gosh, you look amazing. And you're fast? Yeah, you're faster than a Haunter? That's so unbelievable. Actually, that shouldn't be possible. The fact that he's faster than a Haunter makes no sense to me, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it with bite. Oh my god, that damage is beautiful. And he flinched! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fang, our only evolved Pokemon. Alright, Dr. Fang got a bunch of experience there, and we've defeated the leader, Morty. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. You know what, you might be better if you, uh, you use something other than Ghost. Like, one Gengar is OP. Use one, and then have a bunch of other Pokemon as well. So the Fog Badge makes the level 50 Pokemon will obey, and now we can use Surf anytime we want. Plus, he's gonna give us TM30, which is... Shadow Ball. In this game, Shadow Ball is a physical attack that drops special defense. That makes no sense to me either, but it works. I actually would really like to put Shadow Ball on somebody. I don't know who can learn it. And if any of my guys can learn it, then I'm going to give it to them. But if they can't learn it, then I'll just... Sh oh, I know I know Eevee can learn it, but the evolution I plan on giving Eevee isn't exactly a physical attacking one, to give you guys some hints. But, um... Yeah, I'll figure it out on the way. I'll figure it out. So let's see. Let's go to our pack. Because Shadow Ball's too good of a move not to use it. 80 power, 100 accuracy, drop special defense, even though it's a physical attack in this game. Alright, contain Shadow Ball, yes. Two Pokemon are able, Mudo and Killian. Oh, man. Well, Killian actually has some physical... You know, I'll give it to Killian. Yeah, Killian can use it. That's fine. Alright, let's just be careful on how much we press. Because Bite is a special attack, Shadow Ball's a physical attack. So we don't need Growl. God, do we not need Growl. We'll have Payday for money. And then we'll have a regular normal move for damage. Okay, this is a good plan. We have a plan, guys. We know what we're doing. So that makes me feel pretty, pretty good. But we have a rival battle coming up right now. So I want to thank you all for watching. And I hope you will give these rivals your time. But that's it, guys. So see you all in a few seconds. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. It's the only, the great, and the most awesome person here, Wookie. Thanks, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> No introduction needed. Right, Giovanni so, is here to battle. In three, two, one, press A. Uh, well, technically, you should have pressed A in three seconds, and then you, because you have the delay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, it's going to work no matter what. Okay, so, here we go. We have Giovanni playing with lag while Wookiee plays with a dark screen. This will be a fun battle. It's a handicap, handicap. It's a handicap versus a handicap. Who will win? The yeah, man? so guys, my um, Game Boy Advance. I got it from Steven and it's kind of very dark, so... He's still thankful, Steven. Yeah, I am. Thank you, Steven. Even though <laughs> I talk trash to you all the time. Right. Let's see. Thunder Punch. How much would it do? Alright. Wow, choose faster. Oh, shit, Holy shoot. shit. Oh, shit. That is surprising. And Thundershock. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. You're fighting an electric type. It's bound to happen. He has to do the same thing to you. But his move's a little bit stronger. I mean, Yay! Yeah. It's just the way he learns his moves. He learns different moves than you, that's why. But it's okay. You can do your business. Alright, shoot with the quick attack. What the attack. heck? Nice. <laughs> I did a quick attack too. Yeah, but he's faster. I know. And it's, you both have the same moves. <laughs> You're literally using the same Pokemon. Sure. That is funny. So Edison, you got you got to do your best here because uh, Giovanni, he's itching for a win, right Giovanni? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. See? <laughs> He's gonna kill you. Oh, <laughs> you don't even give a shit. You're just like, oh, I'm just here, man. Oh, I got my Pikachu. God damn it, she was too come fast. On, come on, come on, oh no, I didn't right. know Pikachu was this scary. I know, right? Pikachu's doing the damage. Thank but God, it's dead. It's dead. Well, that's only one Pokemon down. You gotta give your Pikachu credit. At least it's fast. Yeah. That's something. All right, who's next? And next we have the starter, Flamey. Flamey. And you finally got to nickname it what you wanted, which always, that's, that makes me happy. Took All a little right. while, but you got what you wanted. Alright, Thunder Punch. 
All right, Edison is faster, makes sense. Thunder electric types usually are faster. Uh, oh, that damage is yeah. beautiful. Ember, uh, hopefully you get some damage from Ember on a baby Pokemon. Oh, shit. Oh, nope, Edison lived. Five it's HP. close, though. It's yeah. very close. Thunder Punch again. Flamey really needs to survive this. Okay, Flamey's still alive. Another Ember, another chunk of damage, hopefully. Yeah, it's dead now. Okay, yes. Okay, so now it's down. Some... Two to two versus two. Flamey gets really hurt, though, so he's going to have to pull off a critical hit. Or something. Some kind of magic. Find the bull. Alright, Bruce. And use it. Destroy Flamey. Alright, so now we got Bruce. Partner versus starter. Well, technically partner versus partner. Bruce versus... Uh, what's his name? Flamey. Come on, Bruce. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Ember. Yeah, it's faster. Uh. Yeah, that makes sense. Bruce is not a ball. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. But he's still tanky. Look at that. And can Flamey take a bite? Damn. Oh, damn. Giovanni, you're down to your last guy. I only hope that Birdie has... After all this time... No, he's the... But he's evolved. That's what matters. Oh god. He has evolved. That's oh something. no, that's bad. Yes. An evolved Pokemon perfect. That's bad for me. It's faster Bird than me. Gus and it's faster, faster than me. It's evolved, Wookie. It's evolved. <laughs> no. That is doing decent damage. That's good. Confuse right. Oh, you're a dick, Wookie. <laughs> Alright, we, we, we all know this. You have to somehow not hit yourself in the face. Because this move makes you hit yourself in the face. Fight. So, I don't know how you're going to do this, but do not hit yourself in the face. Please hit yourself, please hit yourself, please hit yourself. And yeah. Yeah. Yes. It hit itself in the face. Okay. How much does that do? Oh, that's fair. Yeah. No. Alright, the bite, how much does that do? Yeah. Okay, evolve Pokemon Rock. <laughs> I'm glad it's evolved. But, but what he does have an advantage please thanks to the confusion. Please hit yourself. Yes. Oh my god, this is some yes. bullcrap, Wookie. Yes. This yes. is some real bullcrap. If only evolves crap. faster, it will flinch too. Come on. Giovanni, break out of this confusion. No, please, no. Oh, no! Yeah, no is... more confusion! No! Oh, yes. Come on, critical hit. Yeah! Oh, God, he died. Wait, that wasn't even a crit? That wasn't a crit. I'm, oh. I'm just, it's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby, that's true. It's a baby. Alright, Haku. I'm All counting right. on you. So now, it's... He's down to his last Pokemon, but his last Pokemon is also a baby. So it's a baby versus an adult. Ah, oh, shit, I can't do a tract. Oh, no, he has a female bird. In your game, you actually don't have any genders, but in this game, uh, your, your bird is a female. So, Birdie is a female. And how much can Birdie do? Eh. Ugh, not the best damage. But Bubble! Bubble! How much does Bubble do? Bubble, come on, Bubble! Come on, Bubble! Yay! Eh, not that much damage. Oh, but the Yay, speed, speed fell. fell! That's important. Oh, that's rare, too. That never happens. Well, well you're getting a lot of bullcrap this game, aren't you? Yes, I'm finally getting redemption from the sleep. Yes. And now you're faster thanks to that speed Yay. falling. Oh my god, the bubble! Yeah. It's killing you! Yes, and the speed fell again! What is this game? Yeah, no! Oh, you bastard! He's going you for the chance! Bastard. Blind it! Put some, you put some sand you in his bastards. eyes! There's still a chance now. But you have to miss every single time, Wookie. It hit! It hit, okay. Uh, then there's probably no way Birdie can take this. Yay, he died! Yeah, Birdie died. Alright, that was actually kind of close. He brought it down to the last Pokemon. Oh shit. And with the blind, there was a chance. A yeah, very good chance, honestly. Yeah, that was a good chance. Alright, not bad. The only thing I did was bubble, so I was like, ugh. Yeah, and if you didn't get the speed drops, who knows what would have happened. I oh, you fought a lot more people than I thought. <laughs> it's you're using my game. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we'll see you next time, next battle. See you guys next time.